Brad Meltzer's 2005 novel, The Book of Fate, unfolds with gripping intrigue. It delves into a past where the closest companion of the United States president fell victim to a deranged assassin, leaving his aide, Wes Holloway, permanently scarred. The plot thickens when an apparition of the presumed deceased friend resurfaces, compelling Wes to confront the truth of that ominous day. Steeped in mystery, the narrative unveils an enigmatic code crafted by Thomas Jefferson and cryptic clues concealed by the Freemasons centuries ago, potentially unlocking the answers Wes seeks. Yet powerful forces, embodied by the three, guardians of Washington's secrets, relentlessly pursue him. As time dwindles, the assassin reemerges, heightening the tension. Set against the backdrop of Palm Beach, Florida, the story unfolds sometime after Leland the Lion Manning's presidency, succeeding George W. Bush. While the exact time frame remains ambiguous, the tale transpires eight years post Manning's failed re-election bid. His public downfall stemmed from a botched assassination attempt at a NASCAR racetrack, where misconstrued images depicted him as using a woman as a human shield. In reality, he sought to shield her from harm, evading unscathed due to the swift actions of his Secret Service. However, the Chief of State Ron Boyle perished, and Wes Holloway bore the physical and emotional scars haunted by psychological trauma. Despite Manning's exit from office, he remained a prominent figure, while Wes continued to serve as the president's aide, wrestling with his inner demons. A chance encounter in Malaysia catapults Wes into a realm where the past collides with the present as he glimpses the supposedly deceased Ron Boyle backstage. Wes finds himself thrust into the crosshairs of various factions, bewildered by the sudden turn of events. Meanwhile, a mysterious figure known as the Roman pays a visit to Nico Hadrian, the assassin of yesteryears, now confined in a mental institution. Following this encounter, Nico breaks free his mind clouded by schizophrenia and religious fervor, driven to hunt down Wes, leaving a trail of chaos and bloodshed in his wake. The news of Nico's escape prompts Leland and the former First Lady, Lenore, to remain sequestered under house arrest. Simultaneously, Wes stumbles upon the final item Ron sought before his demise, an inscrutable crossword puzzle and accompanying notes from Leland, seemingly inconsequential doodles. Shadowed by agents O'Shea and Micah, each with their own hidden motives, Wes delves deeper into the labyrinth of conspiracy. Lisbeth Dodson, a columnist, along with Wes's roommate Rogo and former Leland aide Dreidel Jeffer, rally to his aid in unraveling the truth behind the assassination attempt, Ron's inexplicable return, and the clandestine cabal known as the Three. Haunted by the trauma of his past, Wes embarks on a relentless quest for answers, each revelation dredging up painful memories. His journey leads him to a residence in Key West, where a photographer holds a crucial piece of the puzzle. Amidst their search, a startling revelation emerges from the archives, implicating Agent Micah in the events surrounding the assassination attempt. As the truth inches closer to the surface, Agent O'Shea takes drastic measures, eliminating Micah and cornering Wes, only to be thwarted momentarily by Ron's sudden reappearance. Meanwhile, Rogo and Dreidel venture to Fort Lauderdale in pursuit of Dr. Eng, a figure entangled in Ron's plans prior to the assassination attempt, hoping to unearth further clues in their quest for justice. When Wes seeks answers from Leland, he's met with little clarity amidst Lenore's tearful outpouring. Disheartened, he departs, stumbling upon a cryptic note from Ron beckoning him to a clandestine meeting at his graveside in a nearby cemetery. Here, the intricate web of deceit begins to unravel, unveiling the identity of the three, comprising the Roman, revealed as Agent Robert Egan, alongside Agents O'Shea and Micah from the Secret Service, CIA and FBI respectively, sheds light on years of clandestine dealings. Their shadowy operations involved hoarding terrorist intelligence, profiting under the moniker of the Roman. Ron's refusal to join their ranks prompts their ruthless pursuit of power. Lisbeth's decryption of the puzzle's drawings exposes Lenore's unwitting complicity as the fourth, manipulated into aiding Leland's presidency. Meanwhile, Ron's revelation to Rogo and Dreidel uncovers the truth behind the graveyard rendezvous deception, propelling them back to Palm Beach with urgency. As Wes and Lisbeth lay in wait at the cemetery, their plan unfolds. The Roman arrives with Lenore, descending into violence as he assaults Lisbeth. Nico's arrival heralds a tumultuous climax, 
his perception of Wes as touched by divine providence, shifting the dynamics. In a chaotic showdown, Wes and Lisbeth overcome the Roman, while Nico's confrontation ends in tragedy as Lenore falls victim to his fury. In the aftermath, Wes finds closure amidst Lenore's funeral, Nico's return to the asylum with newfound solace, and Lisbeth's fresh start at the San Francisco Chronicle. Embracing a future untethered from the shadows of his past, Wes decides to embark on a new journey alongside Lisbeth, finally liberated from the ghosts that once haunted him. I hope you found this video enjoyable. If so, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Thank you.